Hi Yagama, I'm Jessalyn. Let's dive into what's new in DevTools in Chrome 107. I promise this is a short update. First up, and finally, you can customize keyboard shortcuts in DevTools. Click Settings and open the Shortcuts tab. Hover over a command and click the Edit button to start customizing the keyboard shortcut. If the shortcut already exists, it will prompt you an error and tell you where the shortcut is currently used. You can also create a multi-key press shortcut. For example, type Command G and Shift V with the keyboard continuously. Want to map an action to multiple shortcuts? No problem at all. Click Add the shortcut, type in the shortcut, and confirm your changes. If you want to revert to the original shortcut, you can do so by clicking on the Edit button and select Restore the shortcut. Next, the Memory Inspector now highlights all the bytes of a C and C++ memory object. Recognizing an object's bytes among the surrounding WebAssembly memory was a pain. You have to know the object size and count the bytes from the object start. Let's see how this new feature can help you with that. In the demo, we will set a breakpoint in the C++ script and refresh the page. When the breakpoint is hit, locate the object X in the scope section. Click on the icon next to it to open the memory inspector. Do you see the blue highlights? You can immediately spot the object X from the surrounding memory. If you navigate away, you can always click on the object tag to jump back to it very convenient. Next, full initiator information is available now for HAR import. Open the network panel. Each network request has an initiator. This information helps you to trace the origin of a network request and identify network-related issues. Your users can export the HAR file and send it to you for further analysis. Previously, when you import the HAR file, the network panel only showed partial initiator information. This slowed down the issue tracing process. Well, the network panel now displays full initiator information on import. Next, a new setting to delay the DOM search. You have the option to start the search after pressing Enter. In the Elements panel, toggle the search bar with Control or Command F. As you type a search query, the DOM tree jumps to the first matching element and highlights it by default. This behavior works for a lot of us. However, it is not ideal for testers or users who always work with lengthy search queries. The DOM tree jumps multiple times as you type in a lengthy query. It creates unnecessary motion and causes loss of focus. Go to Settings. Preferences, you can now disable the search as you type setting. With this change, the search will now start only after you press Enter. Here is a bonus tip. Use the break on modification helper to find out which function triggers the change. For example, this is not your code. You need to find out which function causes the counter value decrease. In this elements panel, Right-click on the counter element. Select Break on Subtree Modifications. With this option, every time when the value changes, it will trigger a breakpoint. From here, you can read the call stack and find out which function causes the change. The Break on Attribute changes is slightly different. It tracks and break on attributes like CSS class changes. You can use it to detect which function changes the element styles. All right, there are more new features covered in my blog post. And as usual, the link is in my video description. Thanks for watching. See you in four weeks for Chrome 108. Ciao!